but I can happily say I am back playing today. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing very well. Um, for those who don't know, I've been absent from the rugby field for some time now. Um, I injured my hamstring muscle, uh, which is common, I guess, um, for us rugby players. And uh, that's been, that's kept me out this long. But I can happily say, I am back playing today. Um, it's my first game back. And as you can see, I'm in my Lestic Tigers kit. I'm actually gonna head off to the game in a few hours time. So it's been a long, long two months. I went through, you know, training on my own uh, with the physios and training in the gym. So, you know, I took some snippets of what I got up to and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So yeah, hope you guys like it. But before we go, like and subscribe and let's get this show on the road, eh? <laughs> Off to do my first rehab run after three days since I injured it. Is that right? That's right. With physio here, Joey. So it's going to be short and sharp. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be good. Fortunately enough, it's going to be in the dome, as you can probably see. So it's going to be indoors and not on outdoors. Let's go. go. Nice. Off to the game now, the bags are packed. I actually forgot my boots. I had to quickly run in to get my boots. Gotta need them, it's probably the most important tools you need on game day. Um, yeah, so pretty excited. Um, feels weird actually driving to a game. Usually I'm driving to training um, on a Saturday. So yeah, let's go. So guys, we've just arrived to the stadium. Um, kickoff is not too far away, it's currently 11.30, so kickoff's in about four hours. So looking forward to it, I guess the nerves are starting to kick in, um, seeing as it's my first game back in a long time. But I'm really excited to be back in the team, um, back playing it, um, hopefully come off the bench and get some valuable minutes. Um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So um, it's an important day today. Um, like I said earlier, it's the battle of the, the Midlands over here. So our biggest rival is Northampton and um, Northampton Saints. And uh, yeah, very important game in our calendar. So yeah, guys, now we're gonna go have some pre-match meal, do some stretching, um, you know, do all the team stuff, and then it's pretty much go. So. I guess I'll say goodbye here, and I'll see you guys after the game. Let's go! Nearly there. Nearly there. Are they there? They are. There's 
the answer. So again, it's, uh, it's Visa. Thank you. On the line out that was initially won by his compatriot. That's been intercepted, and this will be Hutchinson running all the way to the posts and underneath them. suffering from oxygen deprivation and it's exactly what Leicester want and then it's picked up by Nandolo and the try so good yeah that's absolutely the key for him if he's stationary he's going to struggle to get any momentum but with any sort of movement going forward as he picks the ball his timing is perfect and Paul fleets he's away and he's managing to find Ford and then Green to Wells, and Leicester a gathering force here off that little break from the young scrum half and Visa held up importantly by Allendorf, but Ford looking for some space and then clipped over the top to Nandolo. One man to beat, and that's never normally enough, and it isn't for Northampton. And the second try for Leicester's big double decker, Namani Nandolo, and they're within five. Namani, first things first, mate. Ten weeks out, how's the body feeling? Yeah, it'll be sore tomorrow, that's for sure. Um, you know, probably wasn't expected to be out that long, but, you know, when you're on the bench, anything happens. And, um, you know, when you're called to play, you, you try and put your, your best foot forward. Did you consider coming out at 12 when DK went off, or did you say, no, no, I'm going to go out on the wing? No, well, either way, I was just a bit, got a bit nervous when um, DK came off. And um, um, But look... You know, I'm old enough and ugly enough now to, to experience these sort of games. And, um, you know, like I said, I hope I contributed to the team and um, yeah, it's frustrating not getting the win. Case of missed opportunities today? Yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, we bounce to the ball, I guess. Um, one went, you know, we could have probably went um, the other way, but um, it is what it is. It's learning for us. And, um, you know, I think the, the biggest learning from us is just, uh, you know, making sure that we we make those right decisions and at the right time. But, um, you know, I know, look, the, the players are disappointed, um, but more so I think, uh, I mean, I, I personally speaking, probably disappointed for the fans, you know, the, uh, the amount of messages I got during the week um, saying how much this game means to the county and, um, you know, to not deliver today, um, you know, I just I, I apologise to the, to the fans and, um, you know, there's always next week. No disrespect, but does two tries not matter when you don't win, personally? Look, I, I prefer to score no tries and, and get the win. Um, you know, especially, like I said, the, the, the one of the biggest games of our calendar um, this season against Northampton. And, you know, I've um, been fortunate enough to be part of it twice now. And, um, you know, you can feel, even though the guys aren't, the fans aren't in the stands, um, you know, you feel it during the week, um, the amount of messages, the people you walk into down at the, the shops and stuff. So I think for me, probably uh, feel, Kind of bad for that, you know, for them. And you know, like I said, um, hopefully I, you know, um, you know, we can always uh, bounce back from next week. Hey guys, so there you have it. Um, disappointing to get the loss, uh, especially playing at home, um, you know, against Northampton. Something that, uh, you know, means a lot to the county. And, and I guess the team and the boys are, are pretty disappointed. So, you know, the, I guess next week we go again. But I think on a positive note, it was, I was so happy to get through the game. Wasn't expecting to play that many minutes, but you know, when you, you know, when you're picked in the team, you know, you got to serve the team. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very tired and um, the body's going to definitely be feeling it tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I'm just glad that, you know, I got through it, um, long 10 weeks, you know, so there's a, a lot of, uh, I guess I was nervous, um, leading into the game and I, I was really, you know, anxious of like, you know, whether, how it's going to turn out. Um, but you know, I'm just glad now that it's done. Um, I'll recover now. I'm going to head home. Now to see the family and, you know, enjoy my day off tomorrow. And uh, we go again next week. So we've got semifinals next week against Ulster, which is a champion Challenge Cup semifinals. Uh, really looking forward to that. So 
Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys took some stuff out of it and learnt a little bit about my experience over the last 10 weeks. And, um, yeah, it's been good. So until next time, guys, bye for now.